Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're going to look at how to publish a .NET MAUI application for Android. And it's basically, here's the documentation, but there are some uh, best practices that are not fully covered in the documentation that I wanted to cover. So let's just jump into it. First thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the display name of the application in our CS project is correct. And then the application ID, this is actually used by Android. So make sure that is your website and then the application name and then whatever version number you want. Other than that, we have to create our signing key. We do that with this key tool, Genki, and then we create the key store. That's actually gonna be the name of the file and make sure that you are in the same folder as the application, as the CS project, since it's gonna be used during build. And then you create the alias. That's gonna be the name of the key itself. Uh, so usually the name of the, your application, then the algorithm, key size, validity. In this case, I'm using a very long validity of 10 years. It should be way shorter and you should probably protect it with by an HSM or something. This is basically what makes sure, what will tell Google that this is your application that you created it. So it's very important to keep that safe. Also the password in here, we're just gonna use my password but in real life, you should probably use a way more secure password and keep all of this just in the hands of a few developers. You don't want everybody in your company to just be able to release a new application. So let's create the, the key. And here's you're gonna ask for the password you wanna set up. And then here is gonna ask for the information of the certificate. So in here, you usually put kind of like the company name or the product name. And then in here, whatever, Android team. And your city, your state, and your two-letter two country. Then it's gonna ask you if it's correct, you say yes this is gonna create the key. So then all we have to do is do a .NET publish, the name of your CS project, then .NET Android release. And in here, these are some properties that you could technically put them in your CS project, but it's better to have in command line because first of all, you don't wanna have passwords in your code and you wanna be able to specify which key to sign with each application. It's basically all the stuff that is here we're just passing it as parameters just so we don't have to specify in the project and we are able to change it as we need for any build. So other than that, we're just gonna run this. And now that it finished building, we just have to go to our bin folder, release Android, and we're gonna have our regular AAB file as well as our signed AAB file and now we're signed APK file. Now you can use your AAB file and APK file, upload into the Google Play Store and have your app running on all the Android devices. So that's how you build and sign your Android application. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.